my name is Kerry Badham and I'm really excited to show you our brand new two products. The first one is our large tappet for under the sea. You have an octopus, a seahorse, a starfish, a shell and a fish. And the second one is our mermaid towel. So you have the large one and the small one. Perfect for cakes and this one is perfect for cakes and cupcakes. This is the cake we've made to display our new products. On the top you have the mermaid towel and this is a fantastic tool because you can make this lovely topper so quickly so it's perfect for the professional bakers but really really good for the, the people that are coming in new um, that are learning and, and also as well you don't need to have the extra skills to get a fantastic look on your cake. We've allowed this to dry completely, decorated it and then we've supported it with lolly sticks at the back of our cake, attaching it with royal icing. So as I move down the cake I've used the small mermaid towel and just put a selection of different colours on and then as you move down again we've used the under the sea and as you can see here we've got the octopus and the fish and the seahorse and the shell and the starfish to create this under the sea themed mermaid cake. The paste we recommend you use is modelling paste. So you can buy modelling paste or you can make your own. You take your fondant or sugar paste, a little bit of Tylo, you might know it to be called CMC or gum track. This one is rainbow dust and you knead it into the paste. Nice and easy, knead it in and you'll feel the paste start to firm up. This won't be ready to use straight away you need to wrap it in clean film and leave it for approximately half an hour or put it in an airtight container. You can make this the day before, all the colours you need and then it's all ready to use once you want to decorate your cake. The first product I'm going to demonstrate for you is the Under the Sea Large Tapping. You have five different designs. I have my modelling paste already rolled out and I've left it to dry a little bit first. So I place it on top, slide it around my mat, turn it over, remove the excess and then I just use my finger here just to make sure everything's embossed and I tap it out. Very very easy. So I can do that again, this time we'll do a starfish. I've used this colour, place it on top, slide it around my mat, turn it over, the outside came out nice and easy, use my finger and tap it out. And I've done this for all the designs, so you have a shell, an octopus, a seahorse, the fish that I've shown you earlier, and also the starfish. I'm now going to demonstrate the mermaid towel cutter. You can see that we have some lovely embossing on it. This is the large one and this is the small one. The small one's perfect for cakes and on your cupcake and the large one is perfect for your cakes. Here is the large one that I cut out earlier and I've allowed that to dry completely. I used a mix of modelling paste and some flour paste as well just to give it a bit more strength because it's quite a tall, tall item and it goes quite narrow here. So we have the smaller one, I've rolled out my modelling paste already and allow it to dry off a little bit on top. So I just place it on top, 
slide it around my board, remove the excess, turn it over and then it's quite nice to just give it a little bit of a tap with your finger to put the embossing on and here it slides out. So if I pick up my one here you can see it really nice on top of the cupcake. I've put this on a little disc and just placed it on top of the buttercream. You could of course just stand it in your buttercream as well. I'm now going to show you how to decorate your mermaid towel. I've used edible dust underneath but I have got some sparkles on here which are considered not to be edible now but I've put the sparkles on and then I've sprayed it with a glaze to stop them from falling on your cake so you can still have this wonderful effect on your mermaid towel and you can make sure that none of the sparkles fall onto your cake and make sure that you just tell whoever's going to be eating the cake not to eat the towel but the rest of the colours I have used are all completely edible so adding the glitter part is completely optional this is the exciting bit. We're going to make our mermaid towel look very, very special. So here we have some edible dust and you can choose whatever colours you like. So I put mine on the brush and then I tend to dab it in the, the lid. And you want, to, you want to build this up. You don't want to be putting it on really thick. You can make it into a, a paint if you want to, but I think the dust gives a really nice effect. It doesn't take too long. So you can see where you've got the... So you can make it as light or as dark as you want to. really pretty and if you want to you can go in deeper on the lines so you can have a nice amount of shading so a nice dry brush we use a flat edge brush but I go through so many we've got a nice green colour there at the top now we're going to, to do a pink. So again, whatever colours that you want to use. And what I did here was I've, I've dabbed quite a bit because I want it to go quite nice and deep in between the scales. And the other thing we want is we don't want a clear line. So we don't want it to go on in bands. We want it to kind of blend together. And again, you can go as light or as dark as you like. So nice and pretty. I'm going to use a, a mauvey colour. Again, with dab. See, I'm using hardly any. But we're still getting this really nice effect. Not sure if you can... see that very well. I lift it up. Here. So it'd be nice to have a shimmer on it and you can get lots of different products that do these shimmering effects. So again, I'm going to just pop it in my lid and I would just dab here and you get this slight sparkle. going over it. 
Now what you, I would like to do here, but it's quite hard to demonstrate, is I would steam this. So quite a good idea is to boil a kettle, wait for it to kind of stop, and when you've got a little bit of steam in the air, you can just lightly wave it over, but be really, really careful. Don't start getting too near to the steam, or the other way of doing it is if once you put some water in a saucepan and once it starts to slightly boil, you get a little bit of steam up, but be really careful not to burn your hands. But this will make your colours start to blend and it will set them. And then once you've done that, this will be a little bit damp then. But because we're doing it here, demoing, I'm just going to dab a few wet areas on so you would have already created these wet areas from the steam and then I'm going to add a little bit of sprinkle a little bit of magic sparkle onto our fairy towel and then you can spray that with a glaze that will stop that from falling on your cake because you've allowed it to dry and if I can pick it up I can show you what it looks like it looks really really pretty I think any little girl is going to be delighted with that on top of their cake As I said earlier, attaching this, making it completely dry, decorating it and then you attach it to sticks to make it into a stand up 3D topper. So as I move down the cake, I've attached the other mermaid towels just with water onto the cake and exactly the same on the bottom tier with the seahorses and the fish and the octopus and the shells and the starfish. And if you notice, I've got little eyes in here. Now you can draw those on with an edible pen, but I've used silver baubles on this one. I thought it made it look quite pretty and tied in with the glitter at the top. This is a wonderful collection of under the sea themed products. On the cupcakes, we've got the shell, starfish, the small mermaid towel, the fish, the octopus and the seahorse. Great little party bag treat for a little cake to give your guests when they come round for your celebration.